Okay, welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm going to do an MVP spotlight for the 1980 season. The Stratomatic cards for Philadelphia Phillies third baseman Mike Schmidt and Kansas City Royals third baseman George Brett. This was obviously the year George Brett hit 390 as he led the Royals to the World Series and Mike Schmidt hit 48 home runs leading the Phillies to a world championship. And I'm going to talk you through how I really go in-depth on these cards. Uh, kind of similar to the team analysis videos that I do, um, I first examine the on-base chances and the hits with multiple base advancement. So I'm going to show you the numbers for Brett and Schmidt when it comes to those categories. You see all of those numbers check out very nicely. What I also like doing is um, let's examine the number of ballpark effect home runs you have on each card. You can see George Brett has a lot of uh, power on his card, uh, where when you're playing the advanced version, fly ball outs can turn into home runs if you're playing in the right park. So you see that number for George Brett, and you see the ballpark effect home runs for Mike Schmidt. Now let's examine the hits you get on common rolls. What I like to look at is how many hits do you have on your card between the rolls of five through nine in each column. So if you basically have 15 chances per card because you got three columns and you look at slots five through nine in each column, you're going to see that Mike Schmidt actually has a higher number of hits when you roll five through nine on his card as compared to George Brett. Now, both of these cards are obviously outstanding cards, very MVP worthy cards for two of really probably two of the greatest third basemen ever to play the game. So I just wanted to do this quick video, an MVP spotlight for the 1980 baseball season.